If you're like me, you've got a lot of patches and you may have some hats. Wouldn't it be great if you could put them together? The curved surface of the hat is a bit of a challenge. If you had kind of a crushable hat like this, it's a little easier. You really want to get it right. And maybe you're not a good sewer. I'll show you a little bit of magic that will help you center your patch, get it in the right place, and make it look good. Let's go to a top-down shot and get started. There are times when you'll want to have a hat in your costume. Since this is for my Ghostbusters build, I'm thinking two colors, either black or beige. And since I got these with my Spirit Halloween pack, but you can get these on Amazon and I'll post a place down below. So it can go up here like this, which is kind of neat. And you got the pack and all that stuff. It would probably blend in. So I'm thinking this. Most of these have this backing. It helps protect the thread, but also it's iron-on capable. This one's interesting. I guess you could put it on the other sleeve. If you're so inclined, I'm not. Problem is, is the patch is flat and the hat is curved. I like hats, especially if you're gonna put patches on them. They kind of have this backing on it, so it will help keep it in place. This one has the backing, but it's black, the same color as the hat. And I can get this hat for about four or five dollars in a big box store. I'll pay more for it on Amazon. I'll have some links below to options if you're interested. So it's the location on the hat and how do you hold it in place? Not everybody has an iron and not everybody wants to sew. So I've come up with an option with this thing called Badge Magic and I'll post details down below. And all you do is take a permanent marker or some sort of marker or pen and draw the outline of the patch you're gonna do. When I cut this out, I'm making sure to cut right on the center line or right on the edge of the line right here. And once you just got it started, you'll know you got this side because it's tacky and then just kind of lay the patch on one end to kind of line it up because once you lay it down, you're pretty much committed. And you can see that it's overlapped. Not really concerned about that. Press or rub or whatever you want to call it. You just peel the other side off. There it goes. So you can see you got a little bit of overage. Just kind of tuck that over like that. It's not going to affect the stickiness or anything. It's going to be actually better. I'm just kind of lining it up here gently. Not pressing down on it at all. Just want to get it right where I want it. Taking the back of my hand and just pressing on it like this and holding it in place for a period of time. Now these little corners you might be concerned about, I might actually tack stitch those, keep it in place. And you can even take a bowler like this and just press it in the inside to kind of get it all down. I don't think you could have ironed that on any better than this. If you are gonna sew the patch, I recommend you go through the hat first because trying to find it through this way is really hard. You can bury it underneath the patch anyway. Pull it through like that. Fingers are the top, my biggest concern. On round patches, I don't think you'd have as much of a problem. Here's two last tips for you. First one, if you're having problems with this sticking, just take some rice, put your hat on, and then put Another one on top, three, four pounds, whatever it is. Place that on overnight, and that should just seal up this thing here. Nice, almost like it was sewn. Tip number two, I scotch guard all my hats on the outside, not on the inside. I'm not sure the chemicals against your sweaty forehead is a good idea to keep it from getting too dirty. You could do the bill if you wanted to, but I just found if you do the top of the hat, one or two quick coats, that's all you need, and it makes a big difference. That goes for any hat, not just ones that you're putting patches on. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in designs of all kinds, making and breaking things, home repairs, I do sports gear development, photography gear development and testing, and I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're going to see.